well, if you work in a company and you don't work alone, chances are you've met really enjoyable people to work with and also very difficult people to work with. I'm sure you've, you've met both. And if you have difficult, difficult colleagues, it's... You're kind of stuck with them. I mean, unless they go or you go, really, you got to learn how to deal with them. And so it makes a lot of sense to learn how to handle difficult colleagues. To handle difficult colleagues, we must, we must first understand why they drive you crazy. Your colleague drives you crazy because they're different from you. That's right, because they are a different person with different experiences, different expectations, different thoughts and feelings. If this person is exactly the same like you, they think like you, they feel like you, they understand you, they see what you see, they hear what you hear, they smell what you smell, then really this person is never going to drive you crazy. Because just like an extension of you and you guys would, uh, well, you know, you do things together and you'll be fine. Problem is, the world's not like that. And thank God, because imagine if there's 7 billion of you. Oof. So, how do you handle difficult colleagues? <clears throat> to handle difficult colleagues, you have to first understand that they're all different from you. And you have to understand why they are different. And to understand how people are different from you, you have to understand and study about personalities. Um, okay, there are many other ways to handle difficult colleagues, but I find this to be the easiest. And it comes from understanding people, understanding colleagues. I'm going to introduce to you a book that I read, uh, well, I'm talking about six, seven years ago. Okay, and this book, literally, I would say, is the top five of any book I've ever, ever read. And I've read hundreds by now, all right? Top five. Personality Plus by Florence Litauer. This little book, which is not more than, how many pages is this? Not more than 200 pages. Costs less than 30 ringgit. Has literally changed all my relationships with everybody around me. If I've gotten a lot of business out of this because I understand my colleagues, I understand my customers better. I mean, this thing is the top five. Maybe not the top, but very close to the top. So I would say read it. And inside here, they talk about four different personalities that people have. Now, um, you're not limited to a single personality. You could be any of those four. Or it could be a combination of any of those four. I've seen all different types of people. And the four different personalities, I'm going to very quickly go through this, um, and just give you an insight. There's the sanguine, there's the melancholy, there's the choleric, and there's the phlegmatic. Don't worry about the terms right now, but I'll very quickly explain this. Number one, the sanguine. Sanguines are kind of like, you know, kind of like people like me. Um, yeah. And um, the sanguines are... The, the good thing about sanguines is that they're typically the lifeblood of the party. Uh, they walk in the room and suddenly the party starts. Um, uh, they are people, people. You know? That means they like people, they love people. In fact, they're relaxed by uh, hanging out with people. So they're people, people. And uh, they're very bubbly, they're very cheery most of the time. The problem is, the challenge and the weakness about, uh, about sanguines is that they are very, very disorganized and very, very forgetful. The second personality is called melancholy. Now, melancholies are great organizers. They are very organized. They are very good planners. They think about all the different aspects of a project before they want to start. Now, that's the great thing about melancholies. The bad thing, or, you know, I wouldn't say bad, um, a, a weakness is that melancholies, if they are not careful, plan too much. They pay too much attention, too much detail, and, you know, they get bogged down. Uh, melancholies also have a challenge with, you know, some melancholies just don't know how to have fun. Um, and, and some melancholies are what you call worry bugs. They worry a little bit too much. Um, the third kind of personality is called choleric. Now, cholerics are natural leaders. They get things done. They want to get things done. It's in their blood. It's, it's their drivers. If they see a brick wall in front of them and they're determined, they'll run right through the brick wall, whether or not the brick wall stops them. And the choleric needs to be very careful because if he doesn't watch what he's doing, he just wants to do things his way. He's the highway, 
is the my way or the highway kind of person. And if he's not careful, he leaves a lot of dead bodies behind. He offends a lot of people. Right? Now, the fourth personality is the phlegmatic. Now, phlegmatics are, you call it mud cools, you know, they are, they're just really cool people. They, nothing ever bugs them. I mean, if the sky falls down, they take out an umbrella and go, hmm, the sky is falling down. Nothing pisses them off. And phlegmatics are great as in the team because they're the peacekeepers in the team. Yes, you know, they never get pissed off. They, you know, kind of keep everyone else together. The challenge with phlegmatics is that they are very rarely enthusiastic, enthusiastic about any idea. Um, if Sanguine walks up to them, really happy, enthusiastic about a project idea, blah, 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 this is great, blah, 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 mm, the phlegmatic will be... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what they do. And here's the thing, and here's why different personalities, different kinds of people drive you crazy. If you're a melancholy and your project teammate is a sanguine, now melancholies are very detail-oriented, sanguines are very messy. Guess what happens? Inadvertently, you drive each other nuts. Little do you know you guys need each other because the melancholy who plans too much and does too little, when paired together with a sanguine who plans too little and does too much, that's a great match. If you guys know how to get along, it's a fantastic match, a match made in heaven. I'm going to give you another example why your colleague might drive you nuts. If you're choleric and your colleague is also a choleric and you get two people who wants to do things their way, my way or the highway, you guys will drive each other nuts. So guys, pick up this book. Do yourself a favor. In this video, I definitely do not have enough time to go through all this. This book will change your life. I'll see you next week.